What's up guys? I just want to explain kind of my game plan for today. I don't know if it's gonna work out, but I'm still gonna explain it to you. And if it does work out, great. If it doesn't, that's fine also. So right now I'm using the desert bottom to get way, way far out there. Yesterday I was like, oh, I'm gonna go hit where the browns are, which are way closer to a road. And I decided I just gotta go with my past two days mentality, which is go way, way, way out there and work my way back. I feel like I cover more ground that way. I'm just as happy finding hard whites as I am browns, especially big ones like the last two days. So I'm going to go way, way, way out there and walk, work my way back, just like I said. So I'm seeing this section now where if I go up this ridge at a certain point, it looks like I'll have to walk the top of the ridge to get around these cliffs, which in my mind, the elk would have to do the same thing, right? They'd either have to be on top of the ridge or the bottom. And just with how I found these antlers lately, they're towards the top. So I think it might be a good pinch point. That's just my thoughts. Just sharing it with you. Like I said, fingers crossed it works out. I really don't know. Okay, a little out of breath heading up this ridge now. It's real steep and gnarly. But look at this ancient, ancient deer shed. Whee! There's a centipede on it. <laughs> Probably would have been a four point. Decent one. Pretty funny that it is out here that old. Now we just need some giant elk sheds. Am I right? I'm totally right, right? <laughs> Another pretty old deer shed. It's clear to me the bucks are kind of using this funnel, not the elk, as far as the little place I picked to go up the mountain. That one's not in awful shape, but that's okay. I'll find buck antlers, deer antlers, until I get to the elk zone, which I think is higher up, which I'm working my way up there. We'll take it, right? Little guy. Still a shed's a shed, right? That's right. Found a nice rock to glass off of for a second. I kind of glassed this whole little area in front of me. I might see something. If I do, it's way old. It's out in the wide open sunshine, but not sure yet. It's hard, it's hard to say from far away because you really never know. It could be a tree or something. Even from up close, sometimes trees look real promising. Just depends on how they catch the light. It's pretty funny because I was thinking the other day how something that makes um, this like time of year hard for shed hunting is when you're like hiking on like dry ridges with no snow and then there's just little patches of snow in like strings or little tiny patches and you're glassing and that white catches your eye like white antler you know and then you're like gosh it's snow <laughs> does that ever happen to you guys oh my gosh you guys another amazing spot i think it's a brown i haven't even confirmed yet oh <gasps> Oh, let me get my binoculars on it. Oh, it looks like a good size. Where is it? Where is it? Oh my gosh. It is a good size. I think it's brown. If it's not brown, it's like the other day where it's just in really good shape. Oh my gosh. So, so part of being a shed hunter, right, is that your, your plan changes 15 times a day and Whatever I told you guys I was gonna do, I did that. But then I crossed the track where I found the big set yesterday, the hard white set. And yesterday I walked the ridge top. So now I had to skirt down and now I'm traversing the mountain, which is gnarly and harder. Like if I'm ever trying to get out, have like a little bit of easier walking, I like the ridge tops because typically you can always see elk sign on them. I'm so excited. <laughs> Typically you can always see elk sign on them and it's like mellow, easy walking, you know, but you know, I said, I'm not going easy today. You know, the past couple days I've been able to use the ridge tops to get out because I had already found amazing sheds. And I said, today I'm going in the nitty gritty side hill, rough, thick country. And it worked out. Let me show you guys the spot. It's amazing. Okay, you guys, so this is all I saw. You see it right there. 
<laughs> is it brown? Take your guess. Pause and comment. It's a good size one, I'll tell you that. Now, just like I've been saying the past couple days, gotta match that sucker up. <laughs> I've been so lucky with like nearly side by side every day for the past two days. I never expect it, but you never know. Let's see what it is. I'm so excited. Just see what it is. It looks good, but it's so hard to tell from far away, right? Oh, is it brown? If it's brown, I'm really far from the road. Oh my gosh, it looks good. Which makes me happy. Like, I've been stressing to you guys every video. I just want to get so far away from people. It's just how I feel, right? It looks good. Gosh, it's so hard to tell. I think it is brown. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I wonder where the other side is. Oh my gosh, it's brown. It's no giant, but it's a good brown nonetheless. Oh my gosh, I need to find its best. <laughs> I need to go three for three on sets, you guys. Check it out. Brown, baby. Oh, Smaller bowl than the past couple ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Small six, but still a beautiful, beautiful brown elk antler. I'm just happy this is my first brown of the year, you guys. Okay, so I put it on wide angle so you guys can see it a little better while I'm close to it. I'm trying to not get my shadow in it. So you know what this means, you guys? This means there have been elk right here this year. So I gotta pound it because maybe the friends or the same exact bowls of the hard whites I've found are right here. You never know. Gosh, it's beautiful. Future good bull for sure. He's young, but has potential. Okay, I'm gonna park it right here for a second, take my pack off, and work up and down. You guys think I should go up or down first? I'm gonna really think on it like I've been doing the past couple days for these matches and go where my heart takes me. All right. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can fully see it in the camera, but I'll hold it up. Working with the tree tripods isn't always the easiest. So this is my first brown of 2020. I've been working my butt off, hiking 10, 15, 16, 17 miles every single day. We got a brown. Oh, beauty. Little bull, up and comer. I bet you his big friends are somewhere close. Love that color. So pretty. Look what's right next to it, you guys. This is funny. Brown was right there. Now it's there by my pack. <laughs> Old little deer shed. Where the deer and elk live together. Okay, sadly didn't match it up. Tried up, tried down. Wanna keep trying, I could go side to side, do a whole bunch of different things, but it's getting close to four o'clock. I have hours and hours and miles back to the truck. <laughs> Typical day like that. I'm still doing the whole side hill traverse thing. I'm in like the steepest section of it right now. It's pretty gnarly, but I'm going to keep trying because I saw a lot of fresh sign coming up in the area I'm about to hit on my way out. So hopefully on the traverse, I get lucky. I forgot to tell you guys, we're at that time of the day. Got my energy drink and my Bomar Nutrition coffee cake bar. This is literally all I eat when I'm out here and it's amazing because it is so good for you and it fills you up and I look forward to it. I tried hugging with like peanut butter and jellies and jerky and random things. Apparently this is all my body wants to eat because I crave it and I go for it every single time. <laughs> well guys, I'm on my hike back. Didn't go three for three on the sets, but three amazing days in a row so I think that counts for something and I probably should still get a lottery ticket somewhere. <laughs> um, I literally was one shed off of three sets in three days, which is okay. It's such far country that you just have to like pick your couple lines and head back and that's all I had time for. 
heading back now at six o'clock and I have miles to go. Probably same as usual. I'll get back in the dark, but that's okay. I got a nice brown. But um, all it means is I'm confident I'll find more browns here, more hard whites, and match up the set probably. But I've been living this like shed hunting bum life where I wake up, have breakfast, go shed hunting, heat up leftover, come back in the dark, heat up leftovers late, go to bed, and repeat and repeat and repeat. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed that shed hunting video. So bummer, I didn't go three for three on elk sets, but I was literally one antler off and I'm kind of on a really good streak, as you can tell. So I'm gonna go back out tomorrow and you guys should definitely stay tuned because will I keep continue finding sheds? Will I find another set? Will I find singles? Like, will I find more browns? What's it gonna be? So definitely subscribe so you don't miss the fourth shed hunting video straight. Like I said, I'm living the shed bum life, so there's gonna be a ton of shed hunting videos coming up. I'm enjoying it so much and just living it up. And I wanna say thank you so much to you guys for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. It helps me out as a YouTuber a ton. And we'll see you on the next video.